and yeah, everything comes up by bucket and rope. And I'm in a quite, a, quite a strict routine at the moment, so well, right through the event, so it's, it's helped to be in a routine time seems to go to fast. Uh, and not to be too sort of insensitive given it's breakfast, presumably things need to go down in by the bucket as well, do they? <laughs> we have a, I have a, a pipe going down the side of the, the pole and all the washing water, all waste water, all waste goes down there into a septic tank below. So, so I have my own uh, sanitary, uh, what can you say, my own bathroom. I just tell us there must have been moments, I mean, you said you've had enough, when you worried about yourself. Tell us about the wind, the rain, the lightning. Yeah, I actually, it's not the best time of the year to have done this because this is the time of a lot of storms and lightning, especially in this in this area where I'm in. Uh, yeah, lightning's been the biggest, uh, scariest factor, I'd say. I've had a few lightning strikes close by. And that's been a bit scary. Um, otherwise, it's been raining quite a bit, and that's also not too good because I'm stuck in the barrel with a roof on and I can't really stretch. Um, yeah, that, that gets a bit depressing. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get down from the barrel? Well, that's easy. I'm going to have a, a, a great big hot bath and, and a good sleep in a, in a very large bed under. <laughs> Bernard, you seriously, uh, you've held on to your sense of humour. Uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us live there from a barrel um, with a wonderful view. Um, you're, <laughs> I don't know really what to say, but well done, Bernard. Get down. Go and have a rest. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Can you believe that started as a dare? And then he broke his own record. 68 days. <laughs> thank you for asking that question. I'll take it for that I'm sure I'd ask it in a kind of slightly subtle way that he might have done. I wanted to know, yes. It was, uh, it was very good, wasn't it? <laughs> um, coming up on breakfast, uh, we are looking at Spy in the Wild, the nature programme that gets closer to its subjects than most. This is a really wonder wonderful uh, Jaguar Cub who's uh, currently in our studio. Look at that. Yeah, a little wave, and one of the real, I mean, that, the, the Jaguar Cub is the star of the show, and also um, the baby gorilla as well is going to be here a little bit later, but they are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, my children are currently mesmerised by this programme. They love it. It is, it is fascinating, and you do, I think you do get sort of an you incredible level of access, don't you? Yeah. And the way they sort of interact with each other. Look at that. We'll be interviewing the Jaguar. We'll be interviewing the Jaguar a little bit later. Uh, <laughs> We'll do that after we've done some news, travel <laughs> and weather, wherever you're watching. We've got a gorilla as well, and a massive penguin. Uh, see you in a moment. Hello, good morning. From BBC Look North, church services will be held later to remember footballer Emiliano Sala and North Lincolnshire pilot David Ibbotson a year after they died in a plane crash. The plane went missing over waters near the Channel Islands. It took rescuers two weeks to find the wreckage and Mr. Sala's body. The body of Mr. Ibbotson, who was from Kroll, has never been found. Police have made another arrest in connection with the shooting of a 12-year-old boy in Sheffield earlier this month. A 42-year-old woman has been arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. It brings the total number of arrests to four. The boy has been released from hospital but is still undergoing treatment. Two-thirds of the local authorities across Yorkshire and Lincolnshire have a shortage of foster carers from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds. Charities say more needs to be done to ensure that foster carers are representative of the children they look after. Shouse from Bradford lived in three care homes in the north of England with very few non-white carers. It felt like there was something wrong with me, something wrong with the colour I was. Like, I didn't really understand, like, I thought you know, the world should be equal and stuff like that, but then I felt like I didn't belong and that I had to be white, I had to look a certain way, I had to be a certain way, so nothing was really understood. A Lincoln man who set up the county's only sepsis support group says he's been blown away by the response to other survivors from the NHS. Phil Crow developed sepsis 10 years ago and still suffers from the effects. He set up a safe space for survivors to share their experiences and get help from the county's sepsis nurse. We expected maybe five, maybe six people. We ended up with over 40 people. It was 
absolutely amazing. The experiences were so similar and I think that was very overwhelming for a lot of people to think that it's not just me going through this, you know, what I'm actually going through is normal. A multi-million pound plan to transform a historic area of York will be debated later. The Castlegate master plan aims to redevelop land behind Clifford's Tower with new riverside walkways and apartments. Here's Lisa Gallagher now with the weather forecast. Good morning. Well, it's going to be a dry day for us. We've got some mist and fog around across Lincolnshire. It is a cold, frosty start. We will see bright or sunny spells at times, probably more in the way of cloud compared to yesterday. Gentle winds, temperatures around 8 to 10 degrees. Now, through this evening and overnight, there's going to be a lot of cloud around. Could even give the odd sort of drizzle from low cloud over the hills, but there'll still be some clear spells at times too. But with more cloud around the last night, it won't be as cold as the night just gone. Temperatures perhaps down towards the wash four or five degrees, but for most of us, six or seven degrees. Now, tomorrow, there is going to be a lot of cloud. There will be some breaks at times, and it's staying on the mild side, 10 or 11 degrees. A similar picture as we head into Thursday, fair bit of cloud, some bright spells, and temperatures around nine degrees. Thanks very much, Lisa. I'll be back with more in about half an hour's time. Bye for now.